of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator, and And now it comes to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael dos You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Hook attempt now blocked though by Ngata. And a good jab. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Huge block there. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Nice. Oh, excellent exchange there. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Dos Anjos gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just over three minutes to go. He blocks the punch. Oh, this could be it right here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. He hurt him with that hook. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Starts to get the combination going with the fists. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Slips. Really missed with that right hand. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. How about that chin? Oh, huge right hand! RDA gets up yet again here, Joe. That's the good news, but he does not look well. Well, everything works off of the jab. The hook has been his best weapon tonight. Watch for him to set it up again here. Oh, solid jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at that, right to the temple. Wow! Well, back to his feet, Joe, but man, is he hurt. Down defense there as he blocks the shot. Almost hits him with that left hook. 
Man, how good is that hook? He can throw the left, the right. He doesn't discriminate, continuing to hurt his opponent here. Hard oh! hook. He was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, beautiful body shot there, too. He's got him hurt here. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Wow. Oh, he might be out. Head kick for Joe oh, Sanchez. He got hurt. Slightly deflected. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. And he eats a right hand there. Constantly a moving target. Oh, the hook connects again here. He did a ton of damage with it in the previous round. Why get away from it if it's not broken? And there he swung with a haymaker. That shot blocked by Dos Anjos. One, two. Nice. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, this could be it. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Lance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh! He's in deep, deep. Oh! Back to his feet again. Amazing. Just misses with the jab. Oh! He's in big trouble. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. What a fight. Hey, stop. Big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. Ariane Celeste on hand. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, a huge block there. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. 
Oh, nice kick. Effective punch there by Rafael Dos Anjos. See the total strikes. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Dos Anjos. Ingano's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Oh, he's in big trouble. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. Back up to his feet. Oh, huge block. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Two minutes now to go in the round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Dos Anjos gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that he's going. Hurt bad. Oh. He's hurt oh, He's out. He's out. What power that guy has in his hands. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Great angle here. Boom. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Ngannou. All right, so Francis Ngannou was all the rage with fight fans coming in, and his fan base will continue to swell after this performance tonight. The frame is only getting stronger, skills only getting sharper, and his confidence is only getting higher. Francis Ngannou is the real deal, folks.